What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ant. We is back with another YouTube video. You feel me? So, in today's YouTube video, as y'all seen by the title and the thumbnail, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a thumbnail off y'all iPhone. You feel me? Because all you really need is an iPhone. You don't need a computer or none of that. You feel me? So, and people be asking me like, oh, who make your thumbnails? Who? You feel me? Stuff like that. But it's like, bro, I make all my stuff myself. And it's crazy because I make it off my iPhone. You feel me? We trapping off the iPhone. So in today's video, I'm going to just be showing y'all how to do that. I might show y'all how to make two different thumbnails if we have enough camera space. But if not, I'm going to just show y'all how to make the thumbnail that we um currently doing. All right. So in this YouTube tutorial, you're only going to be needing three apps. And I'm going to get ready to share my screen so I can show y'all what the three apps are. And then as we go on, we'll edit in the video. Y'all can just follow along. So I'm about to go ahead and share my screen. As y'all can see, so the first app you will be needing is Lightroom, and then you're gonna be needing PixArt, and then for the last app, you're gonna be needing Fonto. And um, them three apps right there, they just gonna really help you get to, you know what I'm saying? Get, get what you gotta get done, done. And then the last thing you're gonna be needing is the font. So you wanna go to Google, and you want to just go ahead and look up the font. If you don't got no fonts, you want to go over to thefont.com. And as you can see, it's a whole bunch of fonts right here. And then you just got to, you really got to browse through and find the fonts you like. So I already got fonts, so I won't be needing the font right now. But when you go to the font, you see this button on the side where it say download. All you got to do is download. I'll go ahead and download one for y'all to show y'all, like this one right here. You download it, right? And then on the bottom left corner, it's gonna have your downloads right here. Downloads, you know what I'm saying, boom. When you download it, it's gonna save to your files. And when you go to like, um, Fonto, we go to Fonto, and you feel me? You start writing, I'm gonna show you right here. And you add text, you go to fonts. You can download your fonts into Fonto. So here go all my fonts right here that I currently own. You feel me? These are all my fonts right here. But that's that's that step. You feel me? I just want y'all to do that before y'all get into making y'all thumbnail. So that way when y'all making y'all thumbnail and y'all got to add y'all text to y'all thumbnail, y'all already had this stuff downloaded. But without further ado, we finna go ahead and get into the actual thumbnail making part of the video. So going right over to my camera roll, I had already took this picture. As y'all see, I'm wearing the same thing. This is going to be what I'm using for my thumbnail. It was either going to be this one or this one. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and record a little video of yourself and make the thumbnail if you didn't make it during your video. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to make your thumbnail after you make your video. So you can either go through your YouTube video, find the thumbnail that you want, screenshot it, or you can, if you forget to do that, you can, um, or you don't like none of the thumbnails in your video, you can make another video after you record your video and then go through that video and find the thumbnail. So what I did was I recorded me a little video and then I picked out these two thumbnails out the video. So once you do that, you pause the video and then you screenshot, you know what I'm saying? You screenshot the, um, what's called like this, as y'all can see right here. And then what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go to edit, crop, and then you just want to go ahead and crop that like this. And that's going to be the size of your thumbnail, you feel me? You want to go ahead and hit done. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to nine times out of ten. I'm going to most likely use this thumbnail right here. So what I like to do next after I um find my thumbnail, I go over to Lightroom. Because nine times out of ten, it's like after you go through the video and you, sc you screenshot and stuff like that, the quality going to be down. So what Lightroom does is it's going to help you edit your video. So you go to Lightroom. And the first thing you want to do is go to Light. So the way to get the perfect settings for your um thumbnail is you just want to scroll back and forth from left to right on each setting. So me personally, see exposure, make it darker and lighter. You just want to look at it. And as you're going down, you will see what you like. And then you just go ahead and round it out. So if I'm going here and here, I like it about right here. That's close to 10. So I'm just going ahead and put it at negative 10 right there. And then contrast. Go left to right. I like it up here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to about 15. And then you just go through all your settings and do that. 
some stuff you don't have to change. Like if you don't notice a difference in it, you don't really have to change it. So you just go on to the next setting. And if you can't see it, then go all the way up. Like this isn't really making a difference for me. Black. I go negative five. And then you want to go to color. Temp. I go negative five on the temp. No tint. Vibrance. Put it at five. Saturation. I'll put that at five as well. Then after that, you want to go on over to effects. So as I'm doing this, y'all can just follow along with the screen recording. You feel me? But the best way to do this is just going back and forth through the scale until you see what you want. And when you see what you want, you just want to round it off to an even number. That's all I do. So I go for like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, feel me, 30, 35. I'll try to go in between them numbers right there. So next, what you want to do, I like doing the texture last. So we're just going to skip effects right now. We're going to go over to detail. So. Once you go over detail, you want to go to sharpening. And I put my sharpening on around 50. If the quality is already like decent. If the quality is already decent, I go like 25, 50. So for this vid, I mean for this thumbnail, we're going to go 50. And then radius, we'll go up to like. Mm, we'll go up to like 1.3. Detail. We'll put that at about a five. No, we'll put detail at about 15. And then masking, you can leave that at what it's at. And then you want to go straight over to noise. And you want to put your noise reduction up. This right here is going to take out all the like pixelated look out your thumbnail. So you want to just go ahead and turn that up to your liking. Like I said, when you do it, you want to go ahead and round it off to an even number because that's going to give you like the most accurate thing. So I'm going to go ahead and go for 25. That looks about right to me. It's a scale. So all you want to do is just, you feel me, go back and forth and see which one you like and the, what settings you like. So the next thing we're going to go over to is effects we're gonna go back to effects and we're gonna you know what I'm saying? see what texture does texture we can leave texture off or actually we can put we're gonna put texture to five then clarity we can put clarity negative five It looks decent at negative five. Dehaze, don't really know what that does. I don't really, can't really tell. So we're just gonna leave that at zero. And then you just wanna kinda play with them settings a little bit. So then next thing I be doing, put this at negative five. Oops. As I go to um color saturation and then a lot of the times, it's like, I up the saturation on a lot of stuff. I just put everything on five just because, like, I don't know. It makes it makes the video, like, this enhances the color. So, I just go ahead and put everything on plus five saturation. And as y'all see, the video is clear now. So what I'm about to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and give it a closer look. Give it a closer look. And then I'm going to just keep tweaking it. Like sharpening. Go ahead and put that at 50 now. Because I like how it looks at 50. And then that's the end for that. And it's now that it's how I like it, now that it's to my liking, we're going to go ahead and save that. So you will click the three dots at the top right, and then you hit save copy to device. 
So after you save copy to device, it's gonna save to your camera roll. And I'm about to go show y'all that right now. And we're gonna look at the difference in the video. So as y'all see, this is what it looked like before. This is what it looked like after, you feel me? So y'all y'all see the difference is very, it's, it's way more vibrant and the color just looks better, right? Overall, the, overall the color looks better. So after you do that, you wanna go ahead and go to the next app. And that next app that you're gonna be going to is PixArt. So you wanna go over to PixArt open PixArt, and once you open PixArt, you wanna go ahead and click the pinkest purple button and it's gonna bring you to this screen right here. So once you bring it, once it brings you to this screen right here, you wanna go ahead and click see all, and then you wanna hit proceed. So if you already allow them to like access all your photos, you won't have to do this, everything will pop up, but they do not have access to all my photos, it's only the ones I choose. So once you do that, you wanna go ahead and click on the thumbnail of your choice, the screenshotting of your choice or what you're going to use as your thumbnail and you want to hit done and it's going to pop up in your you feel me in the selection of pictures that you can select from so then i click that and now i'm gonna be ready to start editing so once i do this and i have all of this right here i'm gonna go ahead and start adding what i need to add to my thumbnail so i'm gonna add some in order for y'all to see what apps I'm, I had screenshotted what apps that I use, and we're gonna go ahead and put them on the video. So that's these three apps right here, Lightroom, Fonto, and PixArt, you feel me? So go ahead and add those right there, and I'm gonna just add them. And y'all see this little background right here? We're gonna go ahead and erase that. Go ahead and erase that. Go ahead and erase that. And yes, it takes a little time, but once you get used to it and you start doing this more often, it ain't gonna be no problem. So go ahead, do that right here. Erase all of those. Go ahead, click back. If you erase anything you don't, you didn't mean to erase, all you gotta do is click the back button and you should be good. So let me move this down, make sure I erase everything because we want everything that we don't want. So them corners from when I screenshot it and cropped it, they there, go ahead and erase that. Then after you erase that, you just wanna go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of them. So I'ma just go ahead and get these out the way and then I'ma catch y'all on the next step. All right, y'all boys, so I went ahead and did that. And next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a border to these apps right here to make it, like give it a little cleaner look. And you also wanna add a shadow. So go ahead and add your border. I'm gonna do a white border and I'm gonna do it like five, like that. And really I might not because it looks kind of rough because when I erased it, I didn't erase it well enough but you want to go ahead so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take the border off we're gonna take the border off right and then we just gonna straight do the shadow so you want to go to shadow scroll over to the right go to shadow and you want to set your horizontal to zero and you want to set your vertical to zero then after you do that you want to go to adjust and you want to make sure your blur is at 100 percent, and you want to make sure opacity is at 100 percent. so you got blur you got position and then you want to go to color Whatever color you want this to be, you can just go ahead and change that. As y'all can see, it changes the border or the shadow, I might say. And that's really it. So we're just going to go ahead and go for a white shadow on all of these. Shadow, opac adjust the opacity and blur, 100, like I just said. Vertical, zero. Horizontal, zero. What that does is center it in the back. And then we're going to go color, white. So we're gonna do this on all of these apps. I could have just downloaded the PNG, but it was way quicker this way. Only thing is, if you want it to look perfect, you're gonna have to take the time to make it perfect. So everything, like everything really is just time, you feel me, the time you take, and that's really it. So now that I got all of these how I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust them right here, like this. Adjust them like this. 
And what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna make this the same size as this one, just like that. Maybe a little bit smaller so it all can fit. So one, two, and then the third one. Just line this up like this and then adjust it to size. Okay, then we're gonna put this right here. And then I I think I'm gonna change my mind and I'm just gonna go ahead and add that border back, you feel me? So we're gonna go do a five on the border. Cause like, I don't know, five is the sweet, the sweet spot for me. Like it's not too, it's not too big and it's not too small, you feel me? So we're gonna go ahead and go five on the border on all of them. And then we're just gonna leave that how it is. So y'all see the three, you know what I'm saying? The three apps we're gonna be needing and then boom. So next, what we're gonna do is add this right here. So you wanna go over the stickers and then in your search bar, you wanna type DDG. And as you can see, it got all of these little things right here. I don't really know what they call it, but it's like the little camera, the little camera thing. But I like, I think that make that get a video a better look. So the one I normally choose is this one right here, the 1080p one. Even if my video is in 4K, I go with the 1080p one because it just look better to me. So you feel me? We're gonna go ahead and do that. And then same thing with everything else you want to add your shadow. Make that go up. Take the opac the old vertical and the horizontal, set that to zero. And then you want to keep your shadow dark. You feel me? So now that you got that, we gotta add the text, and the text is gonna say thumbnail tutorial. So now that I'm thinking about it, we might move these apps over so we're gonna go ahead and lock this right here click on layers and click the little lock and what the lock does is it stop whatever from moving and i'm kind of iffy about the um kind of iffy about the um what's the cause the border right as i'm keep looking at the border it just it's like it kind of looks tacky you know so we're gonna go ahead and take that off like you gonna be indecisive. Like it's okay. You gotta make it how you want. Like it's gonna you gonna you gonna it's not gonna be perfect the first time. You're gonna see stuff as you go on. You feel me? Like as you look at it, you're gonna be like, oh no, I like this better. I like this better. I like this better. I like this better. So as you go on, you just adjust and make it to your liking. And that's what I'm doing right now. Like as y'all can see, I'm changing the shadows. I'm changing all the shadows black because to me it just looks better. You feel me? It looks way better. And it look way less tackier. So we just gonna go ahead and do that. Move everything up like this. And that's good with me. You feel me? So this right here is good with me. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add thumbnail tutorial. So what you wanna do is you wanna leave out of Pixart, and this is the part where you go to Fonto, you feel me? So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure that this is the right size, you feel me? Make sure everything fits. Go ahead and make sure this is symmetrical. Just like that, you feel me? So that's good right there. Go ahead and lock that. And then make sure everything is locked because you don't want to you don't want stuff moving around because that's really gonna make it hard on yourself. So I got my apps right there. I got that right there. And the next thing we're gonna do is go over to Fonto. And you want to download a PNG. All right, so let me show y'all how to make a the 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 the, the, the screen, right? The um what is it called? The uh PNG, the PNG background. So you want to go to Pixart and the same thing you did the first time, you want to click on the pinkish purple plus sign and then you want to scroll down to backgrounds and then it's going to be a checkerboard background that's going to look like this so what you want to do you want to open up pixar again and once you have a checkerboard background you just want to hit this button right here and it's going to save it to your photos after it's saved to your photos you want to hit this is going to pop up right here and you want to hit save as png after you save as png you gonna have a PNG background. So every time you make your thumbnails right here, just the words will pop up. So now I'm gonna show y'all how I do the words and I'm gonna actually use this same font right here. And we're gonna just go ahead and use this one. So I'm gonna keep tutorial. 
But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it white so I can show y'all how I do it, how I do everything. So we're just going to go ahead and make all of this regular and plain, just like this. Make everything regular and plain. All right, so we made everything regular and plain. So now what you want to do is type up whatever you want to thumbnail to say. So for me, it's going to say thumbnail tutorial. So text and change this to thumbnail right here. And we're going to keep this as tutorial. So I'm going to make this bigger right here. And one of the tips I give for people who try, ask me to make a thumbnail, I would say go to YouTube. So you know what video you're making, right? Search that video up and look at all of the videos. Like if you're making, say if I made a haircut video, I'm going to go look up haircut videos and I'm going to see which one has the most views, has the most, you feel me? Like which one is the most popular video? Then I'm going to take that thumbnail and I'm just going to recreate it and I'm going to make it even better. So now center that move this center that and bring this down bring this down bring this down bring this down so thumbnail tutorial just like this this should be good and then i'm gonna go ahead and go to style we're gonna go to color coordinate you feel me so we're gonna make this first one white then this second one right here like a grayish and then click on character at the top and then select gradient with the down arrow it's gonna be the Top one, then you want to hit apply. After you hit apply, you want to go to style. And then you want to add this little shadow in the background. And then make the shadow, I would say make the shadow like not black. You can either go black or you can go like this gray right here. Like this gray is cool with me because like it's dark, but it's not super duper dark. So I'm going to go with this gray. Actually, I'm going to go with this black for this video for this thumbnail because no i'm gonna go with gray because my background is already like dark you know so we're gonna go with that and go to style and we're gonna hit this gray right here so after you do that you want to go ahead to the tutorial side and we're gonna make this one which color should, should we do we're gonna do like a purple because it's like it's, it's around a purple vibe right so go to color same thing go to create color parent uh pattern and we're just going to scroll over. We're going to do this purple right here and then this dark purple right here. Go to character, gradient, smooth it down. And really, should we, you know what I'm saying? Should it be flipped like this? I think it should be flipped like that. So, boom, after you do that, like I said, you want to go to style, click on that. And then nine times out of 10, you want to use either like close to the color that you're using or you just want to use a different color so to make this look more animated all right y'all boys so my camera stopped recording but we just finna go ahead and pick up where we left off so where we left off is right here at the stroke so i'm gonna change the stroke to probably like that lighter purple we're gonna go for that lighter purple that we just used like right here actually style we're just gonna go i feel like we should go no stroke no stroke what y'all think I th i'm thinking no stroke i feel like no stroke would be better so we can go go no stroke and then we're just gonna do the same thing for here so style um pattern white gray character move the gradient down like that and then apply and then you want to go over the style and then I guess I'll go this one right here. Give it a little, give it a little brightness. Feel me? And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curve it so it can give it like a little bit of effect. So I normally be just curving it to one, and then move everything to the middle. Make sure everything's centered, just like that. And then make sure. It, you know what I'm saying? Move it again. You know, just make sure it's centered to your liking and in the right place. Then from there, you just want to edit. You feel me? You just want to edit where you want everything to be. So move that up like that. 
Like that's good for me. Ooh, this maybe a little bit. Like that. And I feel like I should make this all uppercase. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And I don't like that, so we're gonna put it back. And this is what I was talking about. Like, you going you gonna like something. And then you're going you gonna to change your mind. And that's, that's okay because, like, that's just what happens. So now that I got this, how I like it, you want to go ahead and press that little button right there on the bottom right corner. And then you want to save that as a PNG. You're going to go ahead and go back to Pixar. And then we're just going to add in our what's it called. We're going to add in our PNG. So you go there. Go to proceed. I said go there. Let me tell y'all where to go. Go to add photo at the bottom. Hit proceed, hit your um text, click on it, add, and then you want to go ahead and just crop that out. Crop it, crop it, crop it. Just like that. Then you just want to go ahead and put it right. I say right here. All right, so we left off right here. I got to record in three minute periods, you feel me? So I'm trying to speed this up. So what you want to do after you add this right here, you want to, same thing you did with the other things, um, the other um, items, you want to go ahead and add your shadow. So you want to start at adjust, put your opacity and blur all the way to 100, and then your vertical to zero, and your um, horizontal to zero. And then you just want to make that whatever color you want. And this, um, the thumbnail part is looking kind of like pale, so I, I like I kind of do want to change that, but for right now, what we are gonna do is lock that, and then I'm gonna move these other apps because this like this left side looks crowded, like it don't look, you know what I'm saying? Like it looks a little crowded. So we're just gonna hit and move this to this side right here, just like that, and boom, that should be good. So I feel like I should go with white shadow. It don't look as good as the black shadow, but. Let me go back because I don't know where my other thing just go. There it goes. Hit the X on accident. So we're going to do that just like that. And then we have our thumbnail right here. So let's go ahead and lock all of those back. And then we can unlock this part. And this part, I feel like it should be more white. I feel like it should be more white, but we're just going to let... We just going to let it be for right now since I'm working on short time. So now that we got this like this, you want to go ahead and hit apply and then you want to go over to effects so you want to go over and find effects it should be on the left then you want to go to effects right here in hdr1 so you click on hdr1 then you click on it one more time and then you just want to adjust all of these settings so i think the settings i used was like 5 15 actually i have it in my camera so we're gonna go to my camera real quick y'all don't be looking like extra don't don't be looking don't be don't be looking extra but just look at what y'all need to see my boy because y'all y'all yeah 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 there we go so 15 41 5 and 15 again so 15 41 5 15 15 41 or 40 i tried to go 40 but i guess it messed up 15 40 5 And then 15. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust this. So you know what I'm saying? Just adjust it to how it's supposed to be. So we're gonna make this about 20. Make that about 20. Saturation. We can leave that about five. And then fade. This determines how much it gets used, and then we can put that about around put that around 10 blur leave that about 15 and as y'all see we have our thumbnail you feel me so this is a long saying quick easy simple little thumbnail we're gonna make it a little bit more appealing to the eye we're gonna go unsharp like 25 and then we're gonna go 
You know what I'm saying? That's that's looking straight. So now that you got that, you want to go ahead and click a, uh, save right there. And you want to save your thumbnail. And then the last step you want to do after you're done, because we almost finished. We're not finished. You want to go ahead and you want to go back to Lightroom. And Lightroom is like really good for like color and making things look how they supposed to look. So you want to go back into Lightroom and then after you go to Lightroom, you want to edit all of this stuff again. So exposure good. Really let me know if that helps y'all out. And I'm going to catch you in the next video. All these niggas, they been sleeping for a little minute. I ain't never told my story, so it's time to listen. You coming sheep, I'm losing sleep, just trying to find a million. I'm smoking gas, it got me higher than a fucking ceiling. You crying broke, so tell me why the fuck you out here chilling. It's mama's broke, so get the fuck up out your fucking feelings. They make you mad, don't show emotion, just turn to a villain. He killing shit, but yeah, his mama think he is a villain.